Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it's time to test Rhonda against Clan Boss, but in her final form. We're going to push her into my unkillable team, and we're going to see what sort of work she can do. Basically, I'm going to sub her in for Turvold in my team and see if she does like a similar level of damage. So, what have I done with her? I've basically put her into Toxic Gear because I just feel like this is going to be the way to go. Yeah, she's got Giant Slayer as her main mastery. We've got Clan Boss kind of um, focused masteries and setups uh, set up here to make sure that she does decent damage for that. But as I say, I've gone Toxic Gear, but full damage. And it's not a true unkillable team, but you would kind of build her the same for a true unkillable team. This is an Infinity team that I use. But I've gone High Attack, 70% crit rate because I get a crit buff from my team. So that'll boost to 100. 265 crit damage. I don't care about accuracy. I don't need it. So it's all about punching damage, but in my best toxic gear. And honestly, my toxic gear is pretty trash. I don't really farm it. I haven't really kept it over the years. So I do have crit damage on the gloves. I do have an attack percent chest. But I'm sure a lot of people will be able to punch out much better toxic gear than what I've got. So let's take a look at the rest of the team and see how they're geared. I've got a Krisk. Krisk is basically needing to get to the right level of speed. So he's actually quite quick at 290. Decent amount of HP, decent amount of defense. He does have accuracy to land the decreased attack and decreased defense when he is hit. And he's got actually a bulwark uh, mastery. So I've pushed his defense up and made him super tanky, I guess. So that it, he, he's actually built this way because it used to be Corpulent Cadaver in the team. So he was protecting Corpulent Cadaver as best he could. Honestly, I probably would change him up now that I just used Turvold and potentially Ronda here. Uh, we've also got in the squad Brogni. Brogni is like essential to this team. He's running reflex gear. He's running high damage. Yeah, so we've got, um, I should probably be at 70% crit rate, but this is built around a uh, affinity kind of change to try and do the world record back in the day. So he's actually lower than 70, but ideally he'd be at 70% crit rate, high crit damage, high attack. Uh, if you get accuracy into his build as well, you should, but my gear is lacking. But reflex gear to try and get back to his A2 as often as possible. Uh, we've also got in the squad Demitha. Demitha, again, is mainly in this team because she protects and gives more buffs to Turvold. So I've kind of changed this team over time, but definitely the preferred option to this is Hellborn Sprite, who's a rare, who gives you a weaken. But she's in a Guardian set running at 251 speed. And then, uh, who's the last one? I'm just trying to think. Last one is Lanakis, who, again, is in reflex gear to get back through her abilities as quick as possible. She's actually given us an increased attack and increased crit rate buff, and she does ally attack. A very, very cool champ. Uh, she is running at a 272 speed. Again, she's built around uh, doing the the Spirit Affinity Clan Boss, but she should be at 70% crit rate for the other Clan Boss kind of setups. So I'll show you my normal team, and this can smack Clan Boss. What are we on here? Spirit Affinity. So yeah, my main team can slap Spirit Affinity with Turvold in it for a good like 150 mil damage, maybe more than that actually. I haven't, I haven't seen it for a while, but yeah, this would be the kind of setup. So what we're going to do is just we're going to throw Ronda into basically the same setup and see what she does okay i might be making a mistake here putting her as the lead i just kind of want her attack aura i think my demitha will still tank the stun hits anyway but we will see um so ronda i'm just gonna let her play in default yeah she's got double hitter here i think actually no i'm gonna turn off her a3 i feel like her a3 is her weakest ability for clan boss because we get multiple hits here we get four hits here because he's below 50 percent hp um, all of these have got a chance to lay the poison debuffs as well. Brogni, we open with his A3, turn it off. Demitha, A2, then A3 in that order. Lanakis, we open with the A3, turn it off. Krisk, we open with the A3, turn it off. Full auto from the start. And let's see what sort of damage numbers she can punch out in what I think would be her best unkillable kind of setup. So you can see we start to get some... Poison's out there. That's the main thing she's going to be doing, throwing out the poisons. She's got a 15% chance to join in the fight when someone does an A1. And this is a two-for-one team. So basically, we're going to get two hits from my whole squad for every time 
um, the clan boss has a turn. It just means we're getting a lot of extra potential hits from Ronda with that passive. And I mean, let's see what sort of damage she's doing. I guess maybe let her ramp up a little bit. But the quad hit there is basically a 160k worth of hits plus the giant slayer procs plus the poison debuffs going out there. And it looks like the A2 is hitting for no decreased defense there, there at that point. So the A2 is hitting for 50k with no drop defense. And I've got no weaken in the team. Definitely could swap Dimitha out in this one for um, Hellborn Sprite and give myself a weaken. I use Dimitha for the Turvold setup just because it gives me extra additional buffs for when Turvold does his slam. But she is punching out some pretty insane damage, actually. Especially considering we're getting the Toxic out there as well. 45 to 50k per pop, plus the 54k per chance Giant Slayer hits as well. And she is filling up that Poison Bar very comfortably on her own. So yeah, I feel like for an unkillable team, she could actually be pretty damn insane. I guess let's, let's let it run through. I'll bring you back in when we've got damage numbers and see what she's done uh, compared to like my normal crew. So I guess the first benchmark for me is how quickly can we do one key damage? Just over 12 minutes. My Turvold in this squad is doing it in about 11 and a half. So actually, in terms of like damage per turn, it's really high. She's actually doing a lot of work. Getting those A1s away as well. The, the poisons are always full. Yeah, we've got a full debuff bar the whole time. Sometimes that's a risk, by the way, in case you don't get important things like your decreased defense out and, and brimstone and that type of stuff, the smite buff or debuff. But um, yeah, she's actually doing a lot of work. She's probably doing more work than I was expecting her to. And she does hit actually really hard. I'll keep it running. Let's see what the actual kind of full key damage is. But pretty encouraging to get to that one key so fast. Okay, then. Run's come to an end there. We've gone 127 mil. Let's just get me out of the way for a second. Push me over here. So what we've got here, we've got a 62 million damage Ronda. It's, it's actually way better than I thought she was going to be. She is decent for a unkillable clan boss team. Probably better than a normal clan boss team, honestly. And you, you would like to have somebody else doing some sort of drop defense and weaken roll, ideally in the squad. But for all of these different unkillable teams out there, she is going to punch out some decent level of damage if you've got room for poisons and you can put her in some toxic gear. I think that's the way to go. So yeah, Ronda coming into Raid Shadow Legends. I think she will do a lot of work in unkillable teams. If you've got a choice of blessings, if you do pick one up, I would definitely take Cruelty on her because I think she will stack that super fast because of the amount of hits that she does. She'll be better than most legendaries at getting out that Cruelty stack to max as soon as possible. But there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.